Kathy Dahlquist. I represent the 31st Legislative District, which includes Southeast King County and East Pierce County. And I have kids, and really I cared about their education. So what I did is I immersed myself into my local school board. What I learned there is that most of the decisions don't remain at the local level, they remain at the state level. Hi, I'm Chad Magandans from the 5th Legislative District. One of the reasons I got involved in education reform and in becoming president of my school board is because I came from an industry that has some significant problems with meeting the stills gap. Kevin Parker, Spokane, Washington, 6th District. I own some coffee shops as well as I'm a leadership instructor at Fairchild Air Force Base and an adjunct business professor at Whitworth. Hi, I'm Susan Fagan. I represent the 9th District in Southeast Washington. I serve on the House Education Committee and I also am the ranking member on House Education Appropriations. I'm Shelley Short and I am your state legislator from the 7th District. The district includes Ponderay, Ferry, Stevens and portions of Okanagan and Spokane County and it's a great place to live and do business. The House Republican Caucus has fought to fund education first since 2005. In our state's constitution the paramount duty is to educate and provide funding for our children. Absolutely before anything else, education has to be funded first. The legislature's been dealing with the McCleary decision that mandates that the legislature address funding that's necessary to provide public education for every student in the state of Washington. The importance of the McCleary decision is that it told the legislature that we weren't fully funding education and we know that education is the paramount duty of our state to be funded prior to any other program and agency. So we put a billion dollars more into education. There are things that we have to do, that we must do to fund education and the Supreme Court pointed to four areas that are critical and that's lowering class size in those early years, kindergarten, first grade addressing transportation for all our school districts, and also something called MSOC, materials, supplies, and operating costs. Those are the parts of basic education. We put money towards all-day kindergarten, which is very important to get kids started on the right foot. We've actually put a lot of effort into closing the skills gap, and now with the budget proviso, we introduced districts that haven't had access to the startup funds to get programs like that started now can apply for a grant from the state to get them going. We wanted accountability. We wanted to make sure that that money went towards student outcomes, and not just more money for more things, but that we improve the outcome for kids, like increased graduation rates. For our rural school districts, there's some funding that we get that other school districts don't, and in part, it's because of the lack of private property that we have that's taxable based to provide adequate education funding. And that funding at the state level is levy equalization assistance. Levy equalization is so important because what it does is it makes the equality between property-rich districts and property-poor districts equal. So it would be unfair to eliminate it. Our school districts, our students are very dependent upon levy equalization dollars and make sure that every child throughout the state, whether they live in Bellevue or whether they live in Albion, get a quality education. I'm proud to join with my House Republican colleagues, whether colleagues from urban areas in Puyallup or from rural areas in northeastern Washington, I will tell you right now that we collectively are fighting to protect levy equalization funding. Nationwide, over the next decade, 1.6 million jobs will be available in computer science, and yet only about 600,000 of them are pipelined into that industry right now. As we look at the future of our economy and as we move to a knowledge-based and IT-based industry, not only in the state but frankly throughout the country, education plays probably a more vital role than it has in generations past. We want to make sure that teachers have the ability to give students what they need. And we want to ensure that we have the best and brightest teachers in front of all our students. All our students deserve the best. I want teachers to know the impact that they have. It's so far reaching. It's more than just the kids who benefit. It's our businesses. It's our grandkids that are learning skills that may not be tested in that high stakes exam, but are just as important for our success as a state and as a nation.